yeah, you know, uh, electronic doesn't work very well. So 20 minutes into my recording, the recording just stopped. But that was because we were on a very high frequency. Uh, me and Upoyuki, the Almighty, and um, my aura might be blue in the spirit of times, and my extra channels are open, so I have to do all this reading one time more. It is for Cancer, September month, 2020, and I hope it, uh, the recording will not stop this time, because, you know, the message today is a very strong message, you know, a lot of going on with these cards that I have picked, and there's a lot to talk about, and it was a long reading. I think it was maybe 40 minutes, but it, we only have 20 minutes of it, and therefore I have to make a new recording. Uh, I don't know, uh, remember the sentences from a progi from the Quran, uh, but it doesn't matter because he's within my heart, and I, I feel very strongly that we have very direct, intuitive connection here. So I'm looking up a sentence in the Holy Quran, and, you know, um, I just close my eyes and point my finger inside the book, um, or use my intuition, shuffle through the pages, and choose a sentence. And that would be the answer, you know, and the guiding line for this reading. And this is for our cancer, September month 2020. It's a, you know, it's a general reading. So I mentioned all the possibilities that can be for you guys and Guyanas out there for cancer, September month. Yeah, this is in reverse. He, it is who recreated the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was over the waters, that he might try you which of you is best in conduct. But if thou were to say to them, ye shall indeed be raised up after death, the unbelievers would be sure to say, this is nothing but obvious sorcery. So, yeah... He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was over the waters that he might try you. So, yeah, it's in reverse, and the reading of the cards uh, says that something is going to try you, you know, this month. Some obstacle is actually trying to, to you know, um, trying to hinder your project, spoil your project, your new project that is going on this month. But you have a very cool attitude towards this and you're very strong and you can handle it so well. You have been developing a mature side of you and at the same time you have it developed your inner child. I see that with the Age of Wands and the Page of, of Wands. And, you know, so you can handle the situation. You have built up a strong defense and nothing really can, you know, hold you down. Yes, yeah, shall indeed be raised up after death. Yes, yeah, in reverse. The unbelievers would be sure to say, but if thou wert to say to them, you shall indeed be raised up after death. So you will not say that to them. They can just, you know, if they try to, they can just, you know, uh, go bury themselves, you know, into the ground. It can be fucking de death. You don't care about them. You don't even notice them at all. You don't care about those who are jealous at your fortune this month, who are jealous at your love life, who are jealous at everything you do this month because there will be obstacles. There will be people who are jealous and people who want to, you know, um, break your plans, but it, it won't happen. It won't happen. They can't touch you this month. Let's look for a sentence more. And now I already said a lot about what the cast is, is telling us, you know, but that's because I've done this reading before, but then the recording just stopped because of my holy abroyuki energy. Electronic works very, very bad when you have a blue blue uh, blue light body. So, only those believe in our signs who, when they are recited to them, fall down in adoration and celebrate the praises of their Lord, nor are they ever puffed up with pride. So, yeah, you're very strong in your, you know, and you're not, you know, you're not 
pride, you know, you're just very strong and cool and, and you know how to handle the situation and nothing can, nothing can, you know, put you down. We have the Seven of Pentacles, a very strong card, you know, you, your business is fruitful, your family life is fruitful, we have the Ten of Pentacles, you know, you have success in, wor in work this month, so you have success in family life this month, so you have the Age of Wands, and you are choosing a new direction in your creative process whenever it is, you know, uh, working with mathematics in a creative way, and you're choosing a new path, a new, you know, and you start to step something new you might you know if you have a business you you bring new stuff into your business you know you're inspired by new things and you new new sides of yourself you get inspiration from new um you you just suddenly discover this man's new qualities within yourself and you want to express them through your business, through your family life and it will be very successful. We have a seven of pentacles that you have worked hard for a long time in your family life, in your business life and if you are studying in your, in your studying. So now you will gain, in this month you will gain a lot of results, you know, you will pick the fruits from the trees, that is to say that you will um, gain prosperity out of the things you have been engaged with and we have the sun you know you have clear side this month you have the emperor and the king of swords you feel strong in your element you feel you know uh, cool and you know how to handle this um, situation with all these obstacles because there will be obstacles uh, but you know how to handle them in a mature way. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Together with the Death card. So for some of you, the Death card just will signify that, you know, you are leaving. For some of you, you are leaving some old uh, thought patterns and old beliefs. And you are looking with, into that fire, you know. You're discovering your inner creativity you and you know the inner child and you're developing your inner child i see that with the page of wands and i see that with the page of cups in reverse because yeah you you try something new if you are a writer you try studying a new subject and get very inspired um, about that and if you are a musician you also you know try to be more experimental in your music and yeah and if you are a painter, it will be the same. And you, 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 this month is about spiritual growth for many of you. And this card is not necessarily about someone dying in your family. For, the, for some of you, uh, Cancer, September month 2020, it will be about losing a dear one. But handling the situation very mature and being in the perfect balance with your inner child, you know, it might seem it may 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 might not, might not seem like that in the first couple of weeks with the eight of cups in reverse. But you will very very um quickly gain your power back and be in balance with yourself and you will use this uh, experience with if someone dies uh, someone you're, that is dear to you in your family or if you know something doesn't work in your business you just very quickly you know see the the pre, you, you, you see the potential in that crisis because you know um, you have the right attitude this month, and you can uh, you can handle things that you you're not normally handling maybe so well. But now you you have reached a point of matureness. You have already been through some spiritual development, and you just know how to handle this situation and get the best out of it, the best out of the crisis, whatever it may be. So that is how I read these cards, and maybe this will be a quick reading because now you know it. I can talk more quickly because I've already done this this reading before. But we can look deeper into some of the cards and I will read a little in Everyday Witch Tarot made by Deborah Blake and see what she says about the the cards, the tarot her cards. We can also choose a sentence from the from the tarot made easy. Ooh. Nancy Garant tarot made easy. Choose a sentence, sentence from, from it. 
with the help from a brokey, the Almighty. You are searching for clarity or for the truth in a situation where your heart says one thing and your intellect another, and or you hope an idea will become a reality. Yeah, because, you know, for some of you, this new idea, you know, this new quality that you have discovered into in within yourself, or you know, this new business idea that you know, you know, you you are very you you feel the clarity, you know, that if you do this with your business this month, it will bring a lot of success. Maybe not a lot of money, but in the long run, in the long run, it will really do something. Um, and you know it's the right course, but there would be, you know, we have the eight of, of swords in reverse, we have the ten of swords in reverse, and eights of pentacles in reverse, and maybe maybe your family won't see the potential in you know as clear as you will see it, and maybe or maybe you know some of your working relationship will see things diff, diff, in a different view, but you you know you're in a child, uh, you you're in a child knows what direction to take so and you will get prosperity out of it not only in your business life but also in your family life because we have the ten of pentacles you are in harmony with yourself we have the emperor and the king of swords yet you are handling the situation very well and then we have you know the star in reverse and it also tells me that um I will look the part up just now. Yeah, it just no. It just tell, tells me what I've already told you that you know. Now uh, oh, I forget it. I just made that reading and before, and now I forget the message. But I've already told you. It doesn't really matter. I see it through these cards. And eight of cups. It's it's in opposite, uh, reverse. I look that up. Eight of cups. Eight of cups in reverse. Where is it? Page of cups, ten of cups, nine of cups, eight of cups. Um, just because you have everything you want doesn't mean you have what you need. So yeah, th this is in reverse. So you actually feel that you have what you need. Um, and just because you have everything you want, you don't. You, you can see you don't have everything this month you want. Maybe that's, you know, your material life. But you know, the new direction that you will take maybe will not you not get so much money out of this it this month but you can see that it's leading in you in the right direction you're listening actually to your inner child and you feel choosing this new course and you know studying this new subject or you know doing this new business deal or you know bringing these new items into your store or whatever it is you know making music in a little bit different way and maybe writing stuff about different subjects you know that you didn't write about before taking a new direction and spiritually and you know and getting interested in, in these new ideas and using them and expressing them through art and in an artistic way and in a creative way, you actually feel that that has so much value to your life that you don't care about, you know, reaching the stars with this, you know, because you're reaching the stars within your heart and you, you, you're embraced in that feeling and that's enough for you, that, that makes you fulfilled in life, you know. So that's how I interpret these cards all together. Let's have a sentence more from Nancy Garan, Tarot Made Easy. I just shovel through the pages and close my eyes and intuitively uh, point my finger at a sentence in one of the pages. And I'm connected to a broke within my heart and he guides me with sentences. So, let's pick one sentence now. And this will be a quick reading because, yeah, I've done this reading before, but it was, it was destroyed because electronic works so bad, so bad when I'm together with my Ubroki, the Almighty, all seeing I.
Well, it's got all the answers. You just dial his number. And I'm dialing his number just now. To get a clear answer. How to handle this month's the obstacles. How to handle, you know, everything this month. What is his sign? The focus is on recently completed projects, relationships or ideals that have gone as far as they can go and the desire to move on or do something else. So yeah, it lines perfectly up to what, what I already said that you will try new things this month for sure. Yeah, I think I'm very, I'm very pleased with this reading. We have a clear answer from a Brogi that lines perfectly up with already what everything I already said. Be blessed out there. And this was the reading for Cancer, September month 2020. Choose love, not fear. And yeah, whenever there is an obstacle in your life, see the potential within and, you know, get the best out of it. And yeah... I hope I mentioned all the things that I mentioned in the recording just that I did before this recording. And if not, I will make a new recording. I will listen this recording through. And if I missed some of the things, because, yeah, maybe I forgot some of the things during this reading. But if not, you know, there will just be this reading. And if I think I forgot something, I'll make a new one and tell you about it, you know. So, this is the reading for Cancer, September month, 2020. Be love, choose love, don't choose fear. Peace and love on earth. Namaste.